Cheers, um, All right, then. Uh, item number five, CEO report. I'm sorry, did anybody else want to? Okay, right. item number five, CEO report. Oops, uh, this is Town of Quad General Operations Report as of as at April 30th. Museum Director attended the Canadian Museums Association Conference. The Curator and Archivist attended the Archives Institute from the Alberta Society of Archives. Uh, museum volunteers worked the final chase for Chase the Ace, and they brought in $3,071.50 by working that event. Uh, they had yet another successful paint night that was held on April 19th. April 25th, another tabletop exercise was held as it relates to the Paw Airport. Um, airport fuel sales have dropped from previous months. However, this month we have our bombers in, so we're hoping to see an increase. Um, we're having some issues with runway lights. We have temporary lighting system out um, deployed. Interviews were held for term maintenance summer positions. 47 children are registered in weekend swim lessons. That's quite a bit of kids. Uh, municipal Superintendent and Recreation Director have met with parties regarding the outdoor rink. Interviewed for Green Team and Kids Camp summer student positions. Simcoe is up to discuss options for the arena. We are still awaiting the report back. Wellness Centre continues to operate short-staffed. We believe we do have a complement that should be happening within the next two weeks. Uh, we interviewed for term general labour position and also for maintenance labour position. Water breaks, as odd as it seems, we are having some issues with that. It's that time of year. <coughs> Opening of catch basins and various ditching, sewer camera and rotor reading is being done, cleaning of deep well is complete, uh, cleaning up of old digs, sewer jetting and street sweeping underway, doing some pothole patching. Nothing is really sticking, as you can tell. Um, steaming of catch basins and leads and pumping of water, uh, preparing for election, how the transfers with the lot sales have now been complete. Benefits Review Committee have made a decision as to benefits for town employees. And we are steadfastly working on the drug and alcohol policy for the town. And letters are being sent out on a regular basis regarding bylaw infractions. That's right. a, a, a drug and alcohol policy for the town? Yep. And we have an alcohol po policy right now. Basically, we're trying to elaborate on the existing one we have and how we're going to be dealing with uh, medical marijuana in the workplace. And these are things that times have changed that have never really been addressed. Okay. So we've been kind of kept up to par. We're asking the AMM to assist with some of this. However, their assistance lately has been, there's a course in Winnipeg, pay $250 for half a day and please come and see. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of working on our own. Okay. Thank you. Any observations, comments? All right, 6.1 secondary plan. 6.1. Not to me. Yeah, okay. Moved by Andrew, seconded by Councilor Commodore, whereas WSP Canada Group Limited submitted a secondary plan for Centennial Drive North on behalf of Manitoba Housing and Renewal Corporation for Council's approval. Therefore, we resolve that bylaw number 4580 being the bylaw of the Town of the Pot to adopt a secondary plan titled Centennial Drive North as per discussion during the in camera portion of the April 23rd, 2018 Committee of the Whole meeting be read for the first time. Any discussion? Brian. Uh, question uh, for information. In the uh, bylaw that we received in the agenda, <laughs> uh, midway on the page, uh, there's a, the first uh, item says that the secondary plan attached here to and marked as Schedule A is hereby adopted and shall be known as the Centennial Drive North Secondary Plan. Uh, I don't know about others, but uh, I didn't get a copy of that, and I didn't see it attached. Actually, Brian, sir, my apologies. It's attached right there with Jim has the binded. binded. There's a binded thing that is attached as the schedule. Well, that that's fine, uh, but when it comes to notice of meeting, you should be we should be provided with all the facts, as should the general public, because. We, we have to put out notice of meeting 72 hours in advance and, and let people know what's on our agenda, what's going to be talked about, and they, if they choose, have an opportunity to come in and come and present or whatever. Okay. So my concern is, is, is if we leave it as this without that being public, then that document actually hasn't met the requirement of due notice 
because it wasn't part of the agenda. That is public. Anybody has the right to come in and see it because it was on the agenda. Oh, I, I'm not disagreeing with that, and I, and I think that's accurate. The, what I'm questioning is, is we had a responsibility to put it into the public realm at this time, and it's missing from this document. Okay. Then I, I, I would suggest that, as this is a first reading, and there's two more readings to go, that there will be ample opportunity for anyone and everyone to read it. Um, and to, uh, if, if, if it's something you don't want to see happen, then you have the opportunity at some point on second or third reading uh, to to vote against it. So I just, I'm just trying to keep the wheels moving here. A lot of the information will be at our public hearing with it, where they'll have their billboards and their everything else. This is part and parcel to the Bible. Yeah. So we need to bring it forward for first reading so we can have the yeah. public hearing. Yeah. So we can yeah. Yeah. Any other discussion? <coughs> Here we go. Call the uh, question. All in favor? Okay. Opposed to any? Okay. It's carried. All right. Um, way down the list we go. 7.4.1 uh, payroll and accounts. Moved by myself, second by Councillor Forward. Please all that Council authorize the following accounts. Pay period number eight in the amount of eighty-seven thousand seven ninety-five and fourteen cents. General checks number two zero seven nine zero to two zero eight six three in the amount of five hundred thousand five hundred thousand and nine one eighty-two sixty-seven. EFTs in the amount of ninety-nine thousand five ninety-nine and forty-five cents. Okay. Any discussion? Call the question. All in favor? Carried. 7.5.1, uh, CAO performance appraisal. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Commodore, whereas the CAO is charged with the responsibility to do an annual appraisal for salaried employees of the town of the Paw, and whereas the appraisals are done by December of each year. And whereas Council is charged with the responsibility of doing an appraisal for the CAO, and whereas in the past the appraisals were not happening on an annual basis, Therefore, be it resolved that Council carry out the annual appraisal of the CAO at the same time as the other salaried town employees, as per discussion during the in-camera portion of the April 23rd Committee of the Whole Meeting. Any discussion? I would just suggest that this is normal process. We just want to make sure yeah. that it doesn't fall off the table, um, as it has in the past from time to time. Well, well said. Uh, call the question. All in favor? Opposed, if any? Just opposed to the timing. All right. Um, next on the agenda is uh, museum units. They're attached. They're on approved minutes, by the way. Uh, Chamber of Commerce, Councillor Commodore. Um, our meeting is on the next meeting is on the 26th. And on last weekend, we had the trade show, which seemed to be well attended. It was very busy. And I broke down and ate fudge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. No, it was very good. Uh, a little note to the public, of which there's a lot of community groups that are always looking for uh, to raise money. We were approached by one of the vendors if uh, next year, if we could have a list of uh, persons, they're willing to, you know, they're going to come up with a dollar amount and um, they'll help them set up and unload. Because there are a couple of people that are a little bit elder, they, they, need, they do need some help. So there will be a dollar value attached to it and they want service groups to, um, if they want to make some extra money, come on down. Great idea. Okay, thank you. Uh, no sustainable forest day, Brian? Uh, no, there's a meeting Thursday. Okay, on Thursday, okay. Season is back. Uh, citizens on patrol, Councillor Commodore. Uh, we had our last meeting on last week and uh, just kind of finished up on our, um, our 25th anniversary celebrations. And we are going to close down for the summer. And they had the speed watch. And then they had one, they had one up and then they had to cancel it because it's pretty windy, things are falling down. Other than that, it's uh, business as usual. Good. Community Development Corporation, Councilor Gibb. Aiming to have a meeting on the 24th. Thank you, Destination Marketing, Councilor Cross. We also have a meeting on the 24th. 
Recycling Board, Councilor Zielinski. Uh, we have a meeting coming up this Wednesday. week. Wednesday. Okay. Right? Yeah, Wednesday. Okay. Park Community Renewal Corporation, Councilor Zielinski. Uh, yeah, we had a meeting last week. Um, things are kind of in limbo right now. The provincial budget has been passed. Um, or we haven't got word that TPCRC is going to be getting the funding uh, in full. Uh, so it's kind of operating on a shoestring right now. So we'll see where things go. So there's been no handing out of grants or, or anything okay. like that. Library board, Councilor Forward. Uh, we had a meeting last week. We didn't have quorum, but um, from information, we still had a meeting for informational purposes. And uh, the month of April saw 3,200 <coughs> plus visitors uh, with 2,800 items circulated. Um, the 2017 financial audit is almost complete. Um, it's been completed, it's just being reviewed. It has to be approved the board still. Um, budgets are complete as contemplated, uh, still waiting for confirmation from the town and the RM um, for funding. Um, the library is staring at having to undertake uh, some software, some new software, a new operating system, uh, which might also force us to have to purchase a server, which is in the budget, um, but it, it does create some impact that way. Um, the board plans to apply for a uh, community places grant once uh, that program opens up again for uh, to deal with the washrooms and the annex to get them um, to renovate them to be accessible. Mm -hmm. So as part of the accessibility plan that the library was required to undertake, yeah. uh, this is one of the things that was required. At the same time, um, I think we're going to try and roll two projects into one, call it an annex upgrade, and also have uh, some uh, get a quote for some st a steel door across that entrance to the annex that has that alcove that tends to be an issue. Yep. Um, so <coughs> hopefully um, they see some uh, some positive results there. Uh, they intend to use the Millennium Reserve Fund um, for the additional 50% if they're approved through community places. That's a 50-50 grant um, to take care of those things. Um, uh, continued negotiations with the MGU uh, prison library program continues, so uh, the library we have volunteers that uh, attend the uh, jail facility uh, every the second every second Wednesday evening um, to go there and distribute books and uh, speak literacy. Yeah. Uh, it is a great thing, although they are looking for volunteers. So if you know of somebody or are interested yourself in uh, volunteering in the community, um, there is a program that the library runs at the uh, correctional facility and it's well received um, and the people that use it uh, genuinely benefit from it and I think that about covered uh, all of the good things. Oh also uh, for that community places grant um, the library board requires a letter of support from council uh, resolution uh, as a letter of support um, that they support that project of that uh, body should they get approved. So that was, I had sent an agenda request for the committee the whole, I didn't see it on there, Randy. I no, I didn't either. I actually mailed you about that today. Yeah, and I was out of, out of cell service. So okay. uh, maybe that's something we can deal with the community uh, community that holds still so that they have that in hand so they can carry out with that application. It's a lot of information for no quorum. Not bad. Mm, yeah, lots going on. Okay. Uh, Kelsey and Plotting District, we had a meeting and I'm just drawing a blank. Brian, help me out. Uh, we, we did some housekeeping and uh, passing some uh, resolutions and whatnot, but uh, we're still in the developing stage and okay. it's moving forward. Signing authority, bank accounts, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Housekeeping work, yeah. Okay. Uh, no meeting with the Kelsey uh, School Division. Um, 9.1, Spray Park. Resolution. <laughs> Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Zielinski, whereas in 2010, the Paw Families Building a Better Community was formed with the goal of creating an organization that focuses on providing spaces for families to enjoy. And whereas their goal was to raise enough money to build a spray park and raise enough money to match government grants. And whereas the town of the Paw has allocated an area within the Centennial Park for the placement of a spray park. And whereas the Paw Families Building a Better Community has made a request to Council whereby once the park was built, that the town would take over the park, including the yearly maintenance and operation of the facility. And whereas the Paw Families Building a Better Community has also advised that they will continue to fundraise and establish a reserve fund for equipment repair and replacement. 
Therefore, be it resolved that Council for the Town of the Paw agree to the operation and maintenance of the facility with the actual cost to be expended from the Community Enhancement Fund. Any discussion? <coughs> Andrew. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I'm not going to vote in favour of this resolution. It's not a reflection of the efforts of that group uh, or their ability to communicate uh, with us on the matter. But uh, for myself, it simply boils down to I see costs associated with it in the future and uh, I just don't feel like that's a good financial decision from where I sit. I can't bring myself to vote in favour of it uh, when I strongly suspect that we will be um, incurring additional costs because of its existence. And, uh, so that's, that's, that's where I'm at. So okay. Anyone else? Margaret? Sir? Um, I'm having a hard time with, with this one here. Um, it was brought up, you know, that the dollars are very tight. You know, you've got the Community Enhancement Fund. And they, and, and I do believe the Paul Families for Building a Better Community will continue to fundraise. I would just, I would like to see a little bit more in case, I'm, I'm really scared of the water bill. That, that's what I'm scared of. I've heard big numbers, I've heard small numbers, and I, I'm scared of the, of the water bill. That's what I, and even though I, I love this, I'm going to have to not vote, agree to it, just because there's just, there's a little loophole there that I don't feel comfortable with. Okay, anybody else? Alan? When I believe Mr. Novo came, he spoke of a reserve fund of $25,000. That needs to be reflected in there. If it's not, then I definitely can't. We can't just see, leave it that loose and say, well, we'll pay from this fund, we'll pay from that fund. We don't even know how much is in the Community Enhancement Fund, and now we're committing it for eternity. So. I mean, I think this needs to go back to the drawing book a bit. I can get it tight, which should have come out. Like, I mean, that was a big piece of his presentation right at the end, right? We will set up a fund for X amount of dollars. That makes it a little more palatable. It gives some security, and that's totally absent from there. Okay. Right? So uh, just to finish, though, I mean, okay, we talked about 47 children in, in weekend swim and how great that was, right? That's with the pool being closed on Sunday, and that was a ten to $15,000 cut. So again, back to what everyone's saying here, we've got to play it off that. For the amount of time this is coming through, that sh this should have been crystal clear of where it was coming from, the amounts in those funds, and what was going to be set up. And that 25000 like any operation, that money goes in first, right? The town has a reserve somewhere of $25,000 sitting there before the shovel goes in the ground. Okay, anything? No? Okay. Brian? Uh, I, l I like the idea of a water park and that but I am concerned about the lack of, of clear information on this. Uh, if, if we don't fully understand what, what the actual cost is and, and why it is that, because when you, when you put in water and maintenance and garbage pickup and, and all those things it's going to take to operate that, uh, we're just giving them a blind ch blank check by just approving, well, whatever the actual costs are. So that, that could be $10,000, or it could be $50,000. And it's also open-ended in that, presumably, it's more than one year they're asking for, right? They're not at, so, so are you asking for a 20-year commitment right. on this, or, or, or the, you know, the life of uh, the equipment, that sort of thing? Uh, I, I would, uh, like to make a motion that, that we table this pending further information and, and clarification. Just one. I think I think we got enough. In, we got quite a bit of information. I think it just has to be like what what uh, Alan said that the dollar amount isn't in here. So if they say you know fundraise, you know this group is is great right now. There might be the next group and say, huh, we fundraised and we made $1,000. Here you go. So it just has to be more written in stone because the one thing I would really hate to see is it built and then closed. That would be awful. That, that's, that's my fear. And I'm saying, oh, this broke and this happened. Well, we have to close it. That's a big fear of mine. It really is. Anyone else? Can we amend our 
resolution to, to include the $25,000. That's just what I was going to suggest. If that okay. brings Thank some you. comfort around the table, is just say also subject to having a minimum $25,000 in the reserve fund for our address taking over. But further to that, I mean, we've in the past committed funds to the airport manager from the Community Enhancement Fund. There's a number of commitments from that fund, and if we're not clear, and, and what does the annual take, 60000 a year from that? And that's fine if that's going to be committed, but if we can't say now we know where this is going, then we need to go back and figure that out. And if that didn't come out clear, that's no one's fault but our own. But I mean, before we run off to the races, we should speak with, speak with the CFO and say, no, this is how much on average comes into that fund every year because it comes through the hotel tax. And this is where we've committed previously our ongoing commitments before we say, okay, we don't know what this is going to cost and we're going to commit for now to eternity. Well, no, well, before I knew your breath, you're saying, oh my God, I mean, this was, should have been a slam dunk. And if it didn't come out clear, that's our fault. We had right? this conversation with the I, Then the information should have been in there, right? The, the information should have been in there. should come from community enhancement. One of, the, one of the selling points was a $25,000 reserve fund. And if that's not in the, in the motion, then that's no one's fault, then, but our own, right? I'm sorry, like I didn't. I thought the resolution read fine when I read it. If you had issues, then I have issues it would have yeah, been I mean, good to have them addressed prior to it coming to the meeting. That was the big selling point from his presentation. And if that's not included then, then why did he, like, I mean, they offered up the money. We have funding issues. That should be reflected in the motion. So we just said we could add uh, the, but I, the okay. resolution to add the $25,000. Yeah at the amount of the reserve fund, like it makes mention of the reserve fund. Right, but I'm saying if we can't clearly, in addition to that, delineate what's coming out of the Community Enhancement Fund. Oh my gosh, we're not going to know until they have it open for a year. Like you guys are asking them to do the impossible. They can't I'm not tell asking you to do the how much it's going to operate, cost to operate a spray park in the Paw, Manitoba until we operate a freaking spray park in the Paw, Manitoba for a season. Like, I'm sorry, you guys, but like they've been working on this for 10 years. There's three councils that they've come and done presentations to and brought council, countless, countless, countless information. And like, it's just so super frustrating that now it's like, well, we need an exact dollar amount. Like they can't give you one. I'm not asking for an exact dollar amount. What I'm saying is that we've made commitments from a fund and now we're saying we're gonna operate it out of this fund. And even if it's 5,000 a year or 2,000 a year, we better know what the other things coming out of that fund because there's only so much in that fund, right? It's a, it's a fixed amount pretty much. It's pretty consistent every year. And if we can't answer that from the outset, that's the issue with the presentation, right? You can say ballpark is going to cost guys two to five thousand dollars a year, five to ten. I don't know, whatever. You're going to be able to get a range. You're going to be able to get a range. Information already. That's right, but we don't know how much is committed from that fund. Like that's the issue. We're committing dollars we do or don't know what we have, I and that's what I said. That's not his fault. That's our fault. Forward a resolution if there wasn't dollars in there to cover it. Like we talked about this with the CFO already really during budget. Have. Just because it's on sale doesn't mean you should buy it. I mean, that's where I end up with this thing. It's, it's no different. This is not a good resolution. No, and this is not to speak to, I mean, one of our staff brought this forward, and they brought it forward as they expected we wanted to see it. So just as Alan says, clearly we weren't clear, clear what it was we needed to see there. For me personally, it doesn't matter if it says every single little detail on there. I'm just not there. I don't, there, are, there are costs that are coming um, in the future that I, it's a bad financial decision on my end. Is from where I sit to to go ahead with this at this point in time. Maybe the reason it hasn't passed, and this is the third council and it still hasn't passed, is because maybe it's just not a good idea when we're in these economic times. It, it's tough. People want something that's nice. That's great, but that's not responsible. That's where I sit with this thing. And to Alan's point, all he's saying is there's not enough detail in here. And Andy's saying it's our fault, the collective hour, because if Alan wanted to see the number, then he should have maybe said prior to now, ah, I'm not comfortable with that, I need to see more detail. Brian indicated the same thing, I need to see more detail. So it can be frustrated as a councillor sitting here saying, well, this is just not good enough, but then it is what it is. We have a resolution in front of us, it needs to either be amended and put to a vote, or put to a vote as it sits. Or table. Chad. I'm going to agree with Brian and say that we probably need to table this for further discussion so we can get some of the, for, yeah, just to get the further information. Uh, the comfort level, I think, I think everybody is on side with, with the general idea, but I think just more information needs to come forward. 
Um, and I'd hate to see this die right here, right now, if we pushed a vote on it. And it does, doesn't make sense. So more information such as? Where the community enhancement fund is sitting, um, what dollars are committed yearly out of that fund. Um, I guess just uh, something saying that we do have a commitment from the Paw families for the $25,000 to go into a reserve fund within the town of the Paw. Um, and uh, we, we know what the guess or the estimated costs are uh, to run the spray park, but you know, uh, maybe we should list that in, in the resolution. I don't know. So is that all you're wanting is just clarification in the resolution to add that stuff? That's, is that it? Like, I, I don't, I, I'm fine with the way that it sits right now. I don't know, is there anything else that needs clarification? Right. What, what are you, what are we building? Or what, what if they all of a sudden have this fabulous fundraise and they build a $400,000 set up instead of a lesser one which uses more water, uses everything, and we're just giving the blank check to do it. I, I, I honestly think we just need to sit down and gather together the information, put, organize it in such a way that it's clear what, what's being asked and why. It's a, part of it's just the why. Why do you need that much? How, like, everything costs money, including if you're putting these things in. Uh, the, the departments have to have the resources to do it. And also, when, if, if the departments aren't saying, well, we can do it within our existing budget, which they're not, then we're, we're looking at for totally different funds and, and we have to have a better understanding, I think, before we even consider uh, answering this question or not. So, sorry, and just I want clarification. Mm -hmm. So what I'm understanding then is bring back their report and highlight those areas specifically? Well, I, I... Is that what you guys are wanting? Because that's... I believe we're asking money. how much money is in the community enhancement fund and how much of that money is allocated. And can we afford the $25,000? I think that's what It's not $25,000. No, it that... Won't even be, it's actual cost of the other thing. Yeah, and are we going to bill ourselves for the water? Probably not. I like, know. it's not going to cost extra staff to go and empty the garbage once a day. It's an extra duty that's going to be added. Like, we're not hiring an extra person to manage the spray park. Like, the actual cost, again, like, you're going to have to operate for a season before you know what the actual bottom line dollars it costs to the taxpayers or to our bottom line budget. I believe this was all provided. That's why we got to this point of this decision. So what I will do is I will go back. I will make sure it's in writing all again. Bring the information back so that you can make a totally informed decision. Brian? Yeah, I think basically we need that. Because one of the other sides of the thing is it's, it's the assumption that we just add more duties to existing and they, they take it out of existing uh, workforce and budgets and whatnot. Doesn't, doesn't fly because if, if you keep adding duties, then all of a sudden you say, well, for how many years have we been overpaying in that department because they were, didn't have anything to do? I don't think that's the case at all. I think it's the opposite. They're already doing a lot, and now we're just going to add more on without fair consideration or, or potentially input from them as to how they're going to achieve it. Okay. So I think, Jim, you were right in the first piece there about, about the community enhancement detail and then I, I about, don't understand why we don't have that information here. Yeah. And then the the twenty five thousand dollar reserve should be just in the That's a number, that's it. In there. Yeah. Okay. So we'll uh bring back the same information. We will. I'm sorry David. I uh, ten years. I think we should have it wrapped up. Right. So a motion to uh, table, table this to motion. the next meeting? Yes. Do we need to vote on it on the table? I don't believe so. It's just table. Oh, you do see table. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we don't vote on it, then we're silent. No, it's called We've table. We've been silent for 10 years. It's called table, Brian. All it means is it comes back to the next meeting. It's not okay. silent. It's table, table meaning Brian. it's coming back. Yeah. Okay. Um, 9.2, purchase of clear diesel tank. Oh. Week all night. Here I am. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Cross. Whereas an invitation to tender was sent to suppliers and adver advertised as per town policy for the supply, delivery, and installation 
of a 1,000 gallon double wall fuel tank with pump along with the room removal, recycle, disposal, disposal of the old clear diesel tank system. And whereas only one bid was received in the amount of $70,575, including GST and PST from Century Petroleum. Therefore, be it resolved that Council authorize the purchase for the supply, delivery, and installation of a 1,000 gallon double wall fuel tank with the pump and the removal, recycle, disposal of the old clear diesel tank system from Century Petroleum in the amount of $70,575, including applicable taxes. Can I just ask why the emergency all of a sudden bonus is in here? I can exactly answer that. We had a leak in our existing tank. We've gone through medical conservation for all the remedial work, and we need a fuel tank really quick because then we don't have fuel. Fine. Uh, it, it, if there's an emergency one, it's a non budgeted item? This is an excessive cost. We were okay, we just got the remedial work done. That's why we just got the quote for this, and they're probably going to be coming within the next week. So yeah, but it was, it was, it's already in the budget. Is that what you're saying? It'll have to be, yes. No, no, I'm asking, is it already in the budget, or is this a new budget? It wouldn't matter if it was, like, we need it. Honestly, Brian. I'm not arguing that. I, I need to know whether it's already a new a budgeted item or the budget we're, we're looking at has a new number to deal with. We, we, have, a new we have a good enough budget capital. for a, a clear okay. diesel tank. It was not a budget discussion. It'll be free capital reserve is where it's going to come out of. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Then we know where it's going. Yeah. Thank you. Any discussion? Call the question. All in favor? It's begun. Reggie, a hole in the deck. Okay. We have a motion to adjourn, please. Thank you.